interestingly had on them CPD, Covington Police Department. <laughs> I've read that somewhere. The Covington Police had given Carl Geiger these guys property of the city of Covington committed the murders. But, and yes, the only way those two guns could have gotten in the sister was Joe, as we presumed. As she went to Mayo's house, she tossed him in the sister. Yes, yeah, Jack, how are you doing? You uh, was Dr. Tom Weldon one of the doctors that examined Joe? Dr. Ertle was the family doctor. Do you remember Dr. Ertle? Was it Tom Weldon the psychiatrist? He very well could have been. It wasn't, his name wasn't mentioned in our newspaper accounts. Dr. Ertle was the family doctor from Covington, uh, and he was called early on. Uh, Chambers and Grubbs picked up the body, uh, uh, who took, Chambers and Grubbs took Ginny Tiger to St. Elizabeth Hospital about 1.30, 2 o'clock that morning. Yes. Uh, yeah. You all have been so kind, and we are so full of the dedication and interest we have in it. We can keep it the rest of the night, but it's been said, the best speech is one that stops when you want to keep going, so we're going to have to stop it. But here is the tombstone in Northern Kentucky of Carl, Jenny, and the boy. Sure, we took a picture of it. We got the radio program from August 16, 1943. How about that for preparation? We know what she had to be listening to. We knew what would interest a teenage girl. Jim Kiger is to be thanked for that. And all, all of you, or any of you who can remember Judge Yeager, and if I start talking about Judge Yeager and the quality of that man, you'll think I'm exaggerating he was amazing. Uh, Jim Kiger looks very much like him. If we had same hairdo, we've got the same hair. <laughs> Sam and I knew we had him. The jury was all in panel and everywhere, and things were going so beautifully. Ha! Judge Neese and I were in law school together. We had the great Sawyer Smith. We were going to get him. At a certain point in the trial, you'd have thought it was the Magna Carta and the Constitution rolled in one. He stood up and he said, if it please the court, your honorable Judge Yeager, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, let the record show that I have in my hand a deed. And he walked right over where Sam and I were sitting and he laid it down. And he said, gentlemen, it's now delivered. <laughs> I looked at Sam, Sam looked at me, and Sam said, what the hell are we going to do now? He said, <laughs> I said, Sam, we're going to lose. <laughs> That's known as getting euchred, eh, sir? <laughs> Yeah. Anyhow, when I when I'm being critical of Sawyer Smith, I was doing what you do in a courtroom. Lawyers have terrible PR because this is the kind of thing we do. And you, if you haven't been there, you can't understand it. That's as much as I can tell you, Laurie. I would like to thank everybody.